wanna go in this, I wanna go in this because I don't feel like being here all day. All day then. Um <coughs> Welcome. This is Word of View. Um, it's actually Tuesday, but we're going to set it up because I have to work tomorrow. So we're going to get it done today and post it tomorrow. But, um, and excuse the stuff in this, I, I'm, I'm praying and believing God through this little gunk of a cold. But anyway, um, I was really battling and trying to figure out what I was going to talk about today. What, what on earth was I going to deal with today? So, as I was reading some of my notes, uh, one thing that I saw, and I don't really have a specific scripture that I'm going to talk about this week, um, but one statement I wrote in my notes is, I carry myself like a married woman because I am. And I think as a single woman, especially a Christian, um, it, it's kind of, I, I don't want to necessarily say unsettling. But it's kind of hard to see how many single women get so desperate and get so quick to get married and get the attention of a man when they don't even understand that they have the attention of God. And I guess that's where I'm at right now and today. And that's really has always been my life. But that's what I felt like talking about today was just the fact that I carry myself like a married woman because I am. Um, I am first married to god who takes wonderful care of me and i don't say that in a uh, a very arrogant way i don't say that in a i don't need a man tone but i say that in the truth that i don't need a man um or a woman or any other human in that nature to or in that setting rather to kind of fulfill a void that's in me no i allow god to do that now do i want to get married one day of course um i think that would be exciting but i don't lose myself in the thought of marriage and i think that's where a lot of single women especially um or especially single women rather there's some single men out there too um, but it's especially I see it within my single ladies that, you know, you get to a certain point and you feel like, okay, God, I'm supposed to have them now because you no longer want to carry the quote unquote burden of having to believe God for yourself. And I, I really think that's what that is. I mean, some of it is loneliness. Um, uh, some of it is companionship, but a lot of it is you don't want to carry the burden of believing God for yourself and you don't want to stand on the on your own two feet and say okay God regardless you my ride or die we got this you know this is what your words say and I'm gonna stand on it I don't care if anybody else sees it I don't care if anybody else understands it this is what it is because this is what you told me and it kind of gets a little overwhelming when it's just you feeling that way so if you had somebody in your in your corner to back you to help you say yeah yeah that's right that's right that's right then you would you know you wouldn't feel so out there and alone and by yourself but i think it's a level of maturity that us single ladies need to get to where we're okay with saying you know what god it's just me and you i'm gonna believe you for myself and stop believing him for things when we're in a desperate need and start believing him for things when we just have desires and understand that he's going to take care of it. He can manifest your desire without attaching a husband to it or without a husband being attached to it. He can bless you with a brand new home without having a husband attached to it. He can bless you with a brand new car without having a, a husband attached to it. He can bless you to be debt free without having a husband attached to it. It all comes from your relationship with God. It's your relationship with him. And in your relationship, if you believe God will do it, then you'll follow his principles. What does this, the word say? If you give, it shall be given unto you. You know, you, we are supposed to be lenders and not borrow. So if that's what his words say and we operate in those principles, then surely God's got to do it because that's what his words say. So I guess that's what my heart is today. I'm just getting a little frustrated with my single ladies because we just, we just getting a little too anxious. Just fall back and be who God called you to be. 
We're too busy trying to be a wife before we even know how to be a woman. And I don't care how old you are. I don't care how many kids you have. I don't care what kind of bills you got. That does not make you a woman. That just simply make you a lady or a person that has responsibilities and have children. You know, what makes you a woman is when you stand on God's word and you know him for yourself. And you, when the man comes into the picture, you're saying, okay, now, what do you bring to the table? Because this is what God told me I'm supposed to be doing. So what you're supposed to be doing is supposed to be looking like what I'm supposed to be doing because we're supposed to be doing stuff that, you know, line up with each other because we are one. So that's just my little rant for this week, I guess. Um, a little word-based, but, you know, all of it's rooted in the word. But I, I think I went through out a couple of scriptures. But I just want us women to just become more comfortable being by ourselves. I mean, you got to understand that God loves you with an everlasting love. And a man cannot understand that, nor can a man take that place. So you have to, or, you know, if it's a guy listening, a woman cannot understand that and a woman cannot take that place. You know, it's an individual thing. So you need to allow God to get in there and do what he wants to do in you and love you like he wants to love you and put quit putting stipulations on it and time frames on it, assuming that it's attached to somebody else. No, he's going to do it just because he loves you. And he's going to do it with just you if you allow him to. Now, if you want to wait until after you get married and, and you get settled with your wife or your husband, then you do it. But I ain't waiting for that. I'm sorry. I, I That's not my personality. That's just not the way I'm set up. So, you know, don't be offended when you come to me or you approach me and this is you know, for those who have this mindset, when I'm not easily moved by your conversations or what you got, no, tell me what your purpose is. Tell me what, 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 what is your future? Tell me what God told you. And when you do that, then we can start talking. But I'm not impressed by what, what money you have. I'm not impressed by your job. I'm not impressed by your status because none of that means anything to me because that means absolutely nothing to God. So, Hey, that's just the mindset we need to start approaching. We need to start taking the mindset that, you know what, God, you got this, and I'm going to let you do it. And when you are ready, instead of saying, God, you know, telling God when you're ready, allowing God to tell you when you are really ready to be married. And that's what happens is instead of waiting for God to say, okay, it's the season for you to be released, for your husband to find you or for you to find your wife, we tell God and continue to tell God, God, give it to me, 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 right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. And we miss all of those moments that we have with God to grow and mature and to establish ourselves as a single unit. You know, if you understand that who God has for you is who God has for you. I don't know who my husband is. I don't know where he's at, but I know it is a him and he is somewhere. So I don't have to be worried about there's a shortage of or that, that this over here or that over there. Because in the beginning, God created not only Carla, but she created her husband. So, and in that is the perfection of his will. So I don't have to worry and try to figure out who he is. Because in God's timing, he will come. Boom. There it is. Just understand that we get so anxious trying to tell God, when we're ready instead of missing or instead of realizing that we don't know when we're ready you think you're ready but you don't know when you're ready yes i can enter into a marriage right now with somebody um well i don't have no you know, suitors but uh if i did i can enter into a marriage right now and make myself be okay with the conditions that are in they could be a Christian, they could be this, they could be that, but I would be settling for something that is not what God called me to be or do or have. And in that, now I'm going to be upset with God trying to figure out, this This the man you gave me, I don't understand. Well, no. I, I just, I just, that's how I feel sometimes at, at the the, the desperation that we have as Christians, that we believe that as soon as we get in God, as soon as we start growing in Him, 
we want to stop that growth because we think that we're in a place where now we need somebody to help push that growth. No, you grow in God by yourself. That's an individual thing. Even if you were married, that's an individual thing. Um, but you grow together in God, you know, but they can't push your growth. They can't make your growth. That's an individual, you know, um, action or an individual thing. So I think that's just the point I'm in. I'm just, I'm just kind of, you know, people are trying to figure out why am I single? You know, why am I quote unquote mean? No, I mean, I'm business. It's, I'm about my father's business. And when my father tells me that it's time, Carla, here he is, then I'm, okay, God, time to go. But that ain't what he told me. So don't you be trying to figure out why my attitude is that way when you need to just be worried about what his business is he got for you. See, I understand that there's too much in me right now that he needs me to do for my husband to be involved because if my husband comes in now i get to got to get to know him naturally i got to start talking to him i got to spend time with him i got to you know begin to okay what's your credit like what's your health status like you know i got to get into all these details well i'm in a season where god's trying to do something else in me and through me that requires a lot more attention than i have to give I have or a lot more attention than I have to give to a new venture let me put it like that so just be okay with you know if you're single ask God and I know I keep saying the same thing I just I, I guess I just keep hearing the same thing over and over and over again just be okay you know understand that being single is truly a blessing you know being married I'm not one yet, but I know it's a blessing when it's done right and when it's done in God's timing. It could be your greatest joy or one of your greatest joys, you know. But understand that being single <laughs> in my single state has become one of my greatest joys because I have time to spend with God that I probably would not have time to spend with if I had a husband or children attached to me. And not to say that that will, you know, that my love for God will change as I get married and have children, but my time, my natural time to spend with him will change. So, you know, just appreciate this time. It's like a child growing up. I mean, they grow up so fast. That's what I hear. And looking, you know, being older now, seeing the, the little tater tots grow up, you know, they do. They grow up so fast. And a lot of things that you hear from the parents or from the mothers are, oh my goodness, you know, I wish I could go back in time. And uh, man, I enjoyed that. Or, you know, looking back on what was. Well, let's enjoy, as a single person, let's enjoy this moment now and not be looking back in marriage saying, Oh, I wish I would have appreciated my single state a little bit more. I wish I would have grew a little bit more. I wish I would have blah, 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 blah. Whatever, you know, whatever you is, whatever you desire to do, do it now. Just roll with it. Let God, let God show you how to do it. You know, come on, let's, let's stop depending on a man or a woman to solidify God's love for us and to solidify our purpose. They weren't intended for that. They were intended to enhance, but not solidify. So that's my word of view for the week. Ain't no telling what I'm going to be talking about on the podcast. <sighs> Probably still sing on this. So love you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye. Gut slept on me trying to eat with vultures. Y'all look frail, let me feed the culture. Can't get full of the lead and coke, huh? Still sober? Y'all OD, follow me. Where the rain follow me, Kurt. Yeah, I know the Kurt. Martin Luther King. You ain't really gonna throw, but you in a dream.